Hello, Renee Flamont here. You guys, what's funny about power with the narcissist, this is so funny to me when you think about this. It is so important to them that they have it in the relationships in their life. I think we've learned that much. What's funny to me is most people that I've known that are not, that have this disorder have no power in so many aspects of their life. For example, I can think of three narcissists right now, whether they were romantic partner, friends, family, business partner, doesn't matter. But I know three people who I would definitely peg of having this dysfunction in their life. None of them have great relationships with their siblings. All three of them have strained relationship with their siblings. Out of the three of them, they're either not parents or have lousy relationship with their children. Of the three of them, they sparingly speak to their parents. So let me point out how I see that. You guys know I try to share with you a perspective that helps me deal. For you to understand their, their need for power, think of those three groups of people. What do they have in common? Their siblings, their children, if they have them, and their parents. What are they? Those are the people that should be the closest to you. Those are the people that will know you the most. Those are the people that have been in your lives mathematically more than any other person. Generally speaking, especially the last first 20 years of your life, your siblings, your parents, those are the people you know. And then you get older, maybe you have children, maybe you don't. What that tells me, if all of those subgroups are presenting a problem for the narcissist, to me that means they've all caught on, they all know the narcissist, and the narcissist is now uncomfortable to be around them because they've lost their power to manipulate, to pull the wool over, to say a story and have parents, siblings, or children of your believe you. They know you. They know your life. You've lost your power with those people. And I've seen in all three narcissist cases that are in my mind, the power lost led to relationships dwindled, minimized, barely nothing at all. Once a year, twice a year, under extreme circumstances type thing. I want you to understand how vital having power is to the narcissist. They have to control the entire narrative. If there's somebody that doesn't have these subgroups that should be the closest to you in their life, and I'm telling you, I, that's three off the top of my head just now. I can think of more if you give me just a second. Yeah. But to me, that's so illustrative of the what's the common denominator. It's the narcissist. They know that these people know the real them with the mask off. We've all seen it. So they have to move on to new people, new friends, create families outside their families, a different workplace. If this workplace caught on to them, they have to now go to a different workplace and then introduce themselves and be who they want to be until those people figure them out. And then they'll move on from that person. Why? Because they lost control. They are very manipulative. We talked about that this week a lot with making people see what they want them to see. So if they want to be the life of the party, that's what they're going to allow people to see. If their three subgroups of the closest beings to you knows that sometimes they have a bad day, well, that's not going to make them too comfortable because you're taking away the narrative that they want to be the life of the party, the funny one the person who jumps up and sings, the person who, you know what I mean? Whatever the case is, whatever the case is, I find it odd. And I think it's extremely demonstrative of their loss of power with those three subgroups. They're on to the narcissist. They've caught on. Narcissist doesn't know how to handle that. They don't even like their real self, let alone take it as Okay, well, I'm going to work on this until this relationship heals itself. I'm going to work here, here, and here to improve all these different things. And let me let them see the real me. No, they have seen the real them, and that's why they pulled back. The narcissist pulled back because they know they've been seen with their mask off. Those subgroups closest to a person, they know the ugly. They know everything. 
the narcissist's power trip is that they want to control how you see them. They want to control how all the people around them see them. They'll be the friend that announces, I'll be there for you. You know I will be. You know I'm there for you in a minute. All you have to do is call. Meanwhile, they don't get along, the three people in my mind, with their siblings, their children, and their parents. Or they have limited relationships with those people in terms of how often they're together. Why? They're not getting the praise. Maybe they're just being treated regular when, when they're around these three. Maybe there's people in these three that have had it out with this person. There's years of fighting in the mix, whatever. Well, they want to move on to a group full of people that sees them and reveres them. Aren't they funny? Aren't they wonderful? Oh, they'll give you the shirt off their back. Meanwhile, they don't do anything for their own family because they feel powerless because their own behavior has led them to a position of being powerless because everyone's caught on. They want the red carpet treatment. They want people to love them, not challenge them, not want to talk about something old, not want to make them feel bad about what they did to that, <clears throat> pardon me, to that person, even though they would never admit it. They don't want to hear somebody bring up an old thing. So they move on to new people and they take control of the narrative and the new people never even hear about any of the negative things they've done to the three subsets I've mentioned. It's manipulation. They have to have to have the power. That's why throughout the relationship, the narcissist partner is trying to control everything. Everything. They give you rules. There was a girl today, God, I wish I wrote down her name on TikTok. And her video is about she's getting ice. And her, it says narcissistic abuse under in a hashtag. And it's, she says, I wasn't allowed to get ice past 5 p.m. when I was married. Because her narcissistic husband controlled that because he needed the ice. So the kids in her couldn't use the ice. And they live in Florida. That's control because it's, he wants the power. She wasn't allowed to go get the mail. I just look, I just found her today. I'm gonna, next time I have her name, I'll let you guys know. Is it like something with an L? J, J, I can't, I don't wanna misspeak. But bless her heart, bless her heart. Controlled that much because he wanted to feel powerful in the relationship. The dynamic too much for you, narcissist. The dynamic between a man and wife is too much for you. You have to exert your power like that against another human being. That's supposed to be your wife. That's about power. And many of you have been in it because you've told me. It is their kryptonite, their catnip, their whatever you want to say. The narcissist needs it. They have to be in charge. They have to be. And they take out that manipulation we talked about to break your boundary that we talked about to exert that power. So they are controlling the situation. I wanted to single it out as its own topic to make sure you understand it's all connected to the power that they want and the control that they have to have. They can't enter a room and not know that in it are going to people be people that revere them. They're going to avoid the three subgroups I mentioned on this video because they're not going to be revered in those subgroups or they question whether or not they will be because once 20 years ago, somebody in one of those subgroups saw the real side of them. So now they know you've seen them with the mask off and they can't handle that because they can no longer convince you of the narrative they have of themselves, which is victim, martyr, savior, hero. They can't be the person that is wrong, though. They're the person that was wronged. And if you have a different opinion, they're going to stay clear of you and they're going to go and gather their power needs from people that they can convince to need them, to love them, to see the truth of themselves that they're trying to present. And they'll go with those people as long as they can without their mask falling off. It's quite a sad way to live. I feel bad that they can't just exist in their own company and like themselves and validate themselves. 
without needing that validation from other people. I think it's a very sad state of existence. Like I look at them as human beings and think it's really sad. Like I don't feel the need to exert control over other people or to power trip over any individual, not even my daughter. We don't exist that way, but a narcissist does. And I want you aware of it because now maybe your ears will perk up when you think, oh my God, they're trying to control this. They're trying to control everything. Yes, they do. What you eat, where you go, who you see, who's in your life, who isn't, how you feel about yourself day to day. Give it a lot of thought, you guys, and just be on the lookout and chin up and don't let anyone control you. Have a good weekend.